Hey, friends of the twins, welcome back to our channel. This is Rhonda, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with y'all a decor haul. Some things that I've been picking up probably over the last two months. Now, I know, I know, I said that I was going to cut back, and I have, y'all. When was the last time y'all saw a decor haul here? A couple of the things that I'm going to share with y'all, I needed. Well, I needed everything that I have, but some of them I really did need. And one other thing you'll see in just a moment, you all might remember me telling y'all that I want to slowly transition some black and white into the house. And so I have added a couple of black and white pieces. So excited for those. I. Initially, I said I was just going to wait till the fall to bring them out. But, y'all, I don't think I'm going to do that. You know, our motto is you make the life that you live a life that you love because life is short. So, I'm not going to wait till the fall. I'm just going to slowly start to add in my black and white. And speaking of a short life, I want to send out on behalf of Shonda and I, we want to extend our condolences to the families of the people that perished in the submersible. That is just a tragedy that truly y'all is beyond my comprehension, but that's, it could be just because I don't swim. I don't like water enough to swim. I do have it kind of on my bucket list to learn though, but Water is just not a way that I enjoy spending my leisure time, you know, being submerged in water. But, um, you know, y'all, I will tell you that the hardest part of it for me, the most heart wrenching and what hurts me the most is the young man, the 19 year old the son. Now, this is just my opinion. And I'm, you know, I'm sure you all have certain feelings about it also the father you know i understand everyone involved had a love for exploration enjoyed different excursions different um ways of exploring and different levels of exploring let me say that and they had the money to do so from what what i read and things that my sister and I were talking about my youngest sister. Everyone was at least a millionaire and I believe the father of this young man was a billionaire with a B. So, uh, you know, of course I never been on that level, but I could just imagine that, you know, when you have the means that, you know, your, your level of exploration is definitely elevated. Most people you know, could not pay $200,000, $250,000 to go so many miles below the sea. And if you like me, you wouldn't really want to. But um, I do feel like the father should have had his son sit this one out. And I'm going to tell you why. Y'all just hear me out. The son was 19, I believe, and the father was... In his 60s, the father had lived a relatively long life. We know 60s these days is just really middle age because Shonda and I see a lot of people in, in um, healthcare. I do at the hospital. They are 99 and 100 years old. We see that pretty frequently now. So to me, when you're in your 60s, you just hit middle age. But uh, this young man was only 19 years old. And I'm sure that... I'm relatively sure that this probably wasn't the first time that he and his dad had explored and, you know, done different things together. But I just feel that me personally, my teenage son would have had to sit this one out. You know, I'm speaking, you know, if I'm the father, I have lived to be in my 60s. I've gone through, you know, I've, I've lived a lot of life. And if I want to take that risk, then, you know, I'm aware of all of the risks. But my 19 year old son, this young man probably just finished high school. He could have finished this year. Well, he was 19. 
he was either a recent graduate of high school or had just finished up his first year in college at 19. So, you know, my point is he had not lived life and I just don't feel like, you know, as a parent, it's a risk that I'm willing to take, but it's not a risk that I'm gonna take for my son, you know, let my son be a part of. So I would not have let my teenager embark upon, upon this excursion. Hopefully, you know, there will be others for us to explore, but this would not have been one that I would have you know, allow him to be a part of. He just, he was just too young. The dad, you know, if you're a billionaire, then you can reasonably say that he was fairly intelligent and tenacious. I feel like you, those are two characteristics that you more than likely have if you are able to achieve billionaire status. So I'm sure that the dad had done research with this company and knew that they had had some recent mechanical and system failures, and he was still willing to take the risk, you know? But the son, 19 years old, he is not doing any research on anything. He's coming along for the ride. He could have been just, just like the dad had a great love for exploration. He's just excited for the trip. But, um, you know, and then young folks, they they feel like they are just, and so yeah, I, you know, it's just such a tragedy. Just it's something I would never do. I don't think any of my friends of twins would have done it either. But we do want to extend our condolences to the family because there is a mother who has lost a young son. So. My heart goes out to her and all of the other family members. All right, y'all, now let's get into the hall. The first thing I'm gonna share with y'all is for our master bedroom. And it is this, I just picked up some contact paper from the Dollar Tree. And it is like a marbled gray and white. And I'm gonna use this to line the inside of our nightstands. At first, y'all, I was going to go, you know, the wallpaper that they have that has all of the big, beautiful flowers on it, all the vibrant colors and all. At first, I was going to do that. Now, like I said, these are going to line the inside of our nightstands, but then I had to pull back and remember that Shuggy is a part of the equation and I must take his masculinity into consideration. So I went with this. Now, I think it's pretty. It's just a gray marble. Dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree. I picked up four of them. We have two drawers in each nightstand, so I just wanted to make sure. Don't y'all hate to start a project or something and run out of supplies? I hate that. So I just picked up four of them just in case. And now the next thing I'm that I'm going to share is not going to come as much of a surprise to anyone. I picked up me some florals, and look how pretty these are. These are exactly like the foam wreath that you see me use here in the sunroom. I picked up two of these actually, and they came from Home Goods. My pet plan is to put these in the, I think they'll probably end up either in the living room or my guest bedroom. Speaking of guest bedrooms, y'all, I have a new bedroom set in there. Let me tell y'all how that came about. My oldest daughter needed a new bed. And so I was looking to change out the headboard in that guest bedroom. Y'all heard me say this before. I really do mean it. I feel like, I feel like, I know I came in the door running or I came running in the door here when we moved here a year and a half ago. That is because we closed on December 8th, somewhere in there, around that first week in December. And we didn't move in until the 14th of December because we had the entire house painted. In, inside needed to be painted. And so December 14th, here we are just a couple of days away from Christmas. I came in the door running. The, the way that 
the house was set up, I knew was more than likely gonna be temporary. So I said all of that to say that the headboard that I initially had in the guest bedroom, it was pretty, but when she needed a new uh, headboard, it was easy for me to let her have that one and go and pick out something that I really like. I can't wait to share it with y'all, it's, it's beautiful. So yeah, these may end up in the guest bedroom for that um, styling, you know, when I put that room together, or they're gonna end up in the living room. But either way, I absolutely love them. There are three stems, and these were $14.99 at Home Goods. All right, now the next thing that I wanna share with y'all is gonna be for the kitchen and it is going along with that thought process I had when I was telling y'all that I want to incorporate black into the house. Y'all, I love black. I think that I'm yearning for the black because those of you that are, are our same ones since day one, our OGs that have been with us since the beginning, You, if you remember in my other house, my kitchen cabinets were black. I loved, loved, loved my black cabinets. And so moving here, you know, I'm missing the black. I just love black. I always have loved black and white. I feel like it's just such a versatile color combina combination and it's just, it has an elegance to it. I love black and white. So I picked these up. I don't even know how I ended up on eBay that day. You know how you put search for one thing to leave somewhere else. Anyway, I was led to these. If I'm not mistaken, these are 16 ounces, the damaged coffee mugs. I absolutely love these. I love, love, love that damaged pattern on them. I love the size of them. I love that they, to me, they look a little bit uh, dainty and, and kind of girly. That I just, I just love them. But these are a brand called Two 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 Fifth, and some of you may be familiar with that brand because I have seen some of their pieces in Home Goods. They not only have this pattern, but they just have a variety of patterns. Y'all look that up. I have six of these. And like I said, I, I ordered them from a seller on eBay. And I believe that the six of them were $32.99, but I'm really, really, really enjoying these. I'm excited. I can't wait to start playing around with them, you know, placing them out in the kitchen. Y'all guess what? I'm almost hesitant to tell y'all, but because I've told y'all this before and then it never lasts. But anyway, y'all guess what? Sugar and I are getting ready to be empty nesters once again. It's always that middle child. We have one child left living with us. The middle child. That has the middle child syndrome that is spoiled and truly a daddy's girl. Yep, we are going to be empty nesters and it will happen in August. And so I'm excited about that, y'all. Think about it. I've been married 25 years. And of course, this will be the first time that Sugar and I have ever had the opportunity for it to just be he and I. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see if it's gonna actually happen. You know, she said this before, that she was gonna move out. We thought we were gonna be empty nesters once before and uh, it never has, it never happened. So we'll see, I keep y'all posted. But you know, August is the time. <laughs> I feel like sometimes, I share things with y'all in hauls and then y'all never see them again. I'm going to make sure, I'm going to make sure that the things that I'm sharing with y'all in this haul, 
that I show y'all how I have styled them around the house. I'm gonna make sure y'all, you're not just gonna see it now and then disappear you, and you never find out what I did with it. I'm going to make sure that I share it with y'all. So next, I'm gonna share something with y'all. This also came from Home Goods, and this was probably two months ago. And I haven't even, I haven't even done anything with it yet. Um, and that's because I, I had, I had been kind of up in the air if, as to whether or not I wanted to keep it. But y'all, I'm the type of person, if I buy something, I've told y'all this before, I don't like to take things back. I typically buy things that I really love, things that catch my eye. And now I buy majority of the time. I buy things that I already have a, a space in mind for, you know, where I'm gonna use them. With this one, I plan to put it in the living room. But I don't know, I don't know why. I, I, I don't, let, let me show it to y'all. Let me show you what I got. I've had this about two months. Kind of undecided as to whether I was going to keep it. I'm definitely going to keep it. It actually looked really, really pretty when I put it on my counter in my kitchen. It might end up there or it will end up in the living room. But it is this. I thought that this was just stunning. Y'all, this thing is heavy. This is a stone here. Probably marble. It is heavy, heavy, heavy. I I love the gold color of it and I love the design of it. I think that this is just beautiful. This one was $29.99 at Home Goods. Let me get it all in the camera, y'all. But um it also came in multiple sizes, of course. I got the largest because as y'all know i am a big and a bold kind of girl so if i have a choice typically i'm gonna go with the bigger decor pieces that's just what i like y'all yeah you'll see this again really really soon isn't that pretty just love that and it is heavy these next two things that i'm gonna share with you i'm just gonna i i mean i, I just gotta i can't even deny it i absolutely absolutely could not walk away from these i couldn't i actually was able shonda and i were there at home goods that day we had actually filmed a video for y'all and um we had walked out of the store and i had picked them up you know this is what we'll do we go into home goods things that catch our eye, we will pick them up and put them in the buggy and let them go along for the ride. That's what we say. Because you know at Home Goods, if you don't pick it up right then, you go to the next aisle, then you decide to go back. When you go back, it's probably gone. That has happened to us before. So when we go in there now, things that we like, we just put them in the buggy and let them go along for the ride while we make up our minds. So these didn't make it to the buggy that day. I said, Rhonda, are you... Ugh you you don't need them but i do and but i actually made it out to the car and then i just could not i could not walk away from these y'all let me know if y'all would have been able to walk away but uh y'all pray for me it was these These are just stunning. This is more of that antique kind of gold that I love. I love the details of it. I, uh, I love the open face on it. This design, I think that these are just so pretty. So pretty. Some of you may have seen these. I actually had one styled in a video that I did recently when I showed y'all that beautiful yellow velvet chair. <clears throat> I showed that that chair in a vignette style in three different ways, and I used one of these vases for one of the, one of the stylings with that. These were a little bit pricey; they were forty nine ninety nine each. Well worth it to me. I absolutely love them. I love the size of them. They are heavy. And I can see myself having these for a long, long time. If you have not seen that video, let me share with y'all a little bit of how I had it styled. I just had these beautiful 
flowers here in them. Let me put them in here and show y'all. Here it is. This is something similar, but isn't that beautiful? Just perfect together. I have to play with a little bit more to get, but y'all, y'all can see. You can see how pretty that is together. The next thing that I'm gonna share with y'all is these little cuties here. Now y'all know me, typically I make my own florals, but I thought that these were just so sweet and so cute and, and that they will be perfect in my master bedroom. That's what made me go ahead and get them. These were $19.99. No, $14.99, $14.99 each, too, too, too cute. These will be so pretty, I think, in my primary bedroom. We have one, two. We only have two other things to share. The next thing I'm gonna share with y'all on yesterday's video. Yesterday was Wednesday, June 21st, I believe. Anyway, yesterday's video, I shared with y'all a first time ever, 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 ever trip to the Habitat for Humanity Restore. How many of y'all been in the Habitat Restore? I must say, I was really surprised at the prices. Things were quite pricey in there. And um, I don't know, I just wasn't expecting that. Now I will say in their defense, you know, Habitat for Humanity does a lot of things for the community, which we absolutely love. I know people that have personally benefited from um, Habitat for Humanity. I used to work with a young lady. Her family was homed into a Habitat for Humanity house. And so, you know, it's a great organization. I understand all of that. I'm just saying, y'all, I was shocked. I was shocked at the prices. They were Hi, and then in some instances, there were things that were very, very, very reasonable. Y'all look at the video because there was a blue antique style, kind of an antique style desk. The, that piece was stunning. Y'all would have loved it. I'll link that video for y'all too so you can see that desk. That desk was only $75. But right down from it, you know, there was another piece that was like there was this floor mirror that I shared. That mirror was $299. I, don't, I shouldn't even say it was a floor mirror. It was really a wall mirror. It was not, it was pretty, but I don't know, $299. There was one light fixture that I couldn't even see the price of it because you know, when you, when I went in, they had them hanging on the ceiling. And so I was short, I couldn't read what was on the sticker. And so when I asked the young lady that was working in the store, the price of that light fixture was $599. So I just was not expecting for things to be so, so expensive in there, but not everything now. There were some good deals in there and I'm gonna share with y'all what I thought were pretty good deals. These next two items absolutely came from the Habitat Restore. So it was mainly I want it it was mainly the furniture. The fur, a lot a lot of the furniture was extremely expensive. And um like they had a little coffee table in there. To me that coffee table you know, it was a nice coffee table. It was glass and it had a brass base on it. And it was more of a modern, modern style, but the coffee table by itself was $199. You know, just things like that I was not expecting in the ReStore. Now they do have a color-coded sticker system. So depending upon what color the sticker is, there's a corresponding discount. But these next two things is something that I needed. Y'all remember early in the video I said I needed, I, I felt like I needed these, I really do. And it was these two. I showed them in the video and left them and I actually got up this morning and went back to the restore and I bought me two of these. These are going, one of these is going in the guest bedroom and the other one is probably going to end up in the living room. But I did wanna make sure to get two of them you know, cause 
I want to have a pair of them, you know, for a, a pair of lamps. Cause you just never know. Y'all know I like to change things around. So I did want to just go ahead and get me a pair. All right, friends, we get ready to wrap this thing up. I just have one other item to share with y'all in today's haul. These were in, these were intentional. I went looking for something to put on the wall in the guest bedroom. I need something to go over the headboard. When you see it, you'll see that the headboard does go up the wall. You know, it's a tall headboard, but still there's that space up there that I needed something. And when I saw these, I knew that these were exactly kind of what I was looking for. You know, I didn't have anything particular in mind, but given the fact that the headboard is kind of tall, I knew, you know, I know there are limitations with the amount of space that I have from the ceiling to the top of the headboard. So these were perfect. I got these from Home Goods, and it is these. I thought that these were just stunning. I love the color of them, that brass color on them. It's more like a, now this is less of a champ, of a uh, antique gold and more of, more, going more towards a champagne gold, gold, but I absolutely love these. Matter of fact, they look like the ones that I have out here as I'm sitting here looking at this wall across from me out here in this sunroom. These look like the wall decor that I have out here. So that's nice. They are almost, almost identical. Just a little bit of difference, but I thought that these were just beautiful. And I ended up picking up four of these. These were $29.99 a piece. Now I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use four across that wall, the back of the bed is on, or three but we'll see I'm in I'm in the stage of trying to put it all together and all of that so I rather have more than I need than not enough because y'all know y'all know how it is at home you, you better get it when you see it if you can't use it take it back you know keep your receipt take it back if you end up not needing it I love these though I if I should not have a need for all four of them Shonda would love to have I'm sure Shonda would love to have some of these so well, I'm excited I'm so excited there is nobody nobody not not one of you friends of the twins I would venture to say that is a bigger homebody than I for all of our new friends of the twins I have always am still and always will be the biggest homebody Probably of anybody that I know. I'm, I'm more of a homebody than all of y'all. When I say I'm a homebody, y'all, what I mean is I can go days without leaving my house and be absolutely 100% content. I always have something to do. Never bored. I love, love, love being at home. Now, I have been hunkered down with Shuggy. He is three weeks post-op now. And getting back to more of his normal routine. You know, it is limited, but we're getting there. So, you know, I've been here with him and we've gotten some things done. Y'all, if you are new to our channel and you have indeed enjoyed the content of today's video, we would love to have y'all hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and become an official friend of the twins because if you are a friend of the twins, we're gonna have some treats coming up from you for you. Shonda is doing renovations up there. We're decorating up there. And here I have done one, two, three, three projects outside with the landscaping that turned out absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to share it with y'all. These were all homemade, handmade by my Shuggy and myself. Probably in the last week, he's been, you know, feeling good and, you know, kind of anxious to get outside a bit. So I have that to share with y'all. I have a brand new bedroom set. We're going to be making changes in that guest bedroom. Just, I'm excited for 
the implementation of the black and white. I'm going to share that with y'all. All right, friends of the twins, that's going to wrap it up. As always, you make the life that you live a life that you love because life is short. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.